what's going on you lot welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day today I'm filming a get ready with me I'm just going to talk a bit about my life at the moment this is like a life update video and um, the last update you kind of got from me was when I was in A&E in the hospital and I haven't really updated what's going on in my life let's get on don't let me try What's been going on with me? I think I went back to uni this week, mostly. Um, I'm trying to get my life back on track. And yesterday, which was Thursday, I went to uni and I got sent back because anxious and my mood was really low. I was crying when I got to uni. Yeah, my anxiety and my depression aren't at the moment. My anxiety medication's been increased again, so my lorazepam is now at four times a day again. I had decreased initially because I was trying to come off it, but I've had to increase again. So I'm back on that four times a day. My clonazepam is now morning and night. My antidepressant is 150 morning, 159. Lots of medication up dates life on a whole isn't going too bad like things aren't that stressful i've just been feeling really overwhelmed recently things haven't really oh you know what? i've been struggling a lot with my eating disorder i don't want to see him like bad or sound i don't even know i, I just don't want people criticizing this but i've been struggling a lot with my eating disorder and what i mean by that is i've been slipping back into really old habits i i, I was going through a bingey phase and now i'm going through a and now i'm going through a bit of like well not a bit of i'm going through one of the starvy phases why I just and honestly I've just been forgetting about food and it's so hard to can't, like, explain like how do you forget about food but I've, I've been full on forgetting about food and I just haven't been eating and I, I am trying so hard not to fall back into old habits that's the issue when it comes to eating disorders like you think you're doing fine like, I was eating properly I was doing okay I was doing well and then get hit by something else and it just I, I just haven't been feeling hungry it's really hard to explain the idea of food at the moment it's just making me feel so sick i don't even like being back at this point with it like, i think it's partly to do with my mood being a bit lower honestly i've been feeling really like run down like i don't have the motivation to do things i don't have the energy to do things i'm spending most of my time in bed i'm just not at my normal functioning level what scares me is i've got to wait until the 16th of october until my appointment with a psychiatrist i know isn't that long but i am terrified of my mood getting any worse i'm terrified of my mental health and i'm terrified of ending up back in hospital honestly at a point where i don't know i think it's the right thing to say i just don't know but more positive update i went back to you know the two days that i did go in i only knew three days a week just so people know that's like my degree i'm only in three times a week i went in two because the third time i got sent home it was really great getting back to uni actually it was it was like nice being back i was like oh my god it's so great to be like back at uni and then, like i am trying at the moment like i'm trying really hard like for instance i am going to a supermarket to buy food trying to make sure i have at least something to eat in a day i'm just trying you know you, you have to fight your own head with it my <sighs> my mental health goes from oh my god everything's amazing you know like it's a combination and a half. I go from being really bubbly and bouncy and happy to crying. And last night was hard. Let me tell you, last night I was lying in bed and I was like, what am I doing? And I was just lying there until like two, three o'clock in the morning. I had promethazine and just knocked myself out basically because my medication hadn't sent me to sleep. So I've been dealing with that as well. And that's with the sleeping tablet. So probably gonna have to change that, which I already knew was a possibility because I have been on this like sleeping tablet for a long time. I've been on the highest dose for a long time. So it only makes sense that my body's getting used to it. When it comes to my anxiety though, my anxiety is basically non-existent at the moment. Because my anxiety medication has been increased to go with the increase in anxiety, it's kind of just subsided it. And I was, I love to say this, if I can take a tablet and not feel anxious, I will. <laughs> About whether it's addictive or not. People are like, oh, well you're on benzos, why don't you go on to progabalin? Progabalin 
is addictive too. I don't think it really matters what medication you take. Because if it helps you and works, then fine. You know, just don't abuse it. Take it as it's prescribed. And yes, yeah, slip ups of overdoses may happen. A lot of the time people with anxiety are also dealing with suicidal thoughts. And sometimes the suicidal thoughts win. And you do take an overdose, that doesn't mean you're abusing your medication. All that means is you had a slip up and it's bound to happen. Recovery is no smooth line, recovery is... So yeah, I'm gonna go and get on with my day. I just thought like I'd turn the camera on, say hello, show my face. I'm alive, you know, kind of what this video is. And I'll catch you guys soon with a new video.